This is Roy Canney, and this is Favorite Game Friday, where we have a group of contributors with completely different taste in gaming talk about their favorite game in the category of the week. This week, we're talking about one versus many games, games where one player goes head to head against the other players. Maybe it's more like a DM situation, or maybe they're just trying to crush the uh, other players, and the other players are working together to try to take out that one. Make sure to leave in the comments down below your favorite one versus many games, and let's get to the contributors' clips. Assalamu alaikum. My favorite one versus all game, Scotland Yard dice game? Not really, because my wife has stopped playing this game with me after just two plays. So instead, I'm going to pick Descent Journeys in the Dark. You can play it one versus all or as co op as well. How cool is that? Thank you. I don't usually like one versus many games, um, but Detective City of Angels has a great one versus many mode uh, where one place can place the chiseler against all the other players. But if you really want to play cooperative, it has a great co-op mode too. That's Detective City of Angels. Hey everybody, Ron here. When I think of one versus many games, well, I'm a sucker for Star Wars. So my favorite one versus many game is Imperial Assault by Fantasy Flight Games. Go check it out. Hi. Pick of this week for one versus all for me is Space Hulk. Few Marines, tons of jeans dealers. Happy Friday, take care. Kimberly from Tabletop Tolson here, and when I heard one versus many, my very first thoughts went to a fantastic game where there is a traitor in the midst. Shadows Over Camelot has a wonderful theme, and the game is already hard enough as it is, but the traitor really throws a wrench in all of your plans. Oh, hey, Barb. Well, for me, one versus many is Last Night on Earth. This is a great game for your friends and that game night where one person gets to be the zombies and everybody else is fighting for their lives. Hi, I'm Ray. And I'm Jenny and we're Weber Family Reviews. This week's Friday is one versus many or all. I like it. Our son likes it. I like Star Wars. So our pick is Imperial Assault. Which definitely is an improvement over the Descent. I love that you get to go back and forth on turns. So we'll give that as a one versus many is definitely my favorite of that type. Thanks. Have a good Friday. Hi, I'm Josh from the YouTube channel Josh Yaks, and I'm very excited that we're talking about one of my favorite board game genres. As people who have watched my videos will know, I've done some very in-depth looks at The Fury of Dracula, as well as Spectre Ops and Hunt for the Ring, and in the process I've talked about a bunch of other games in the same genre. But the best of the best in a genre that I love is Spectre Ops, along with its standalone expansion, Broken Covenant. That's the many. That here is the one, usually played by me in our game groups at least. This is a family of board games. And this is Fury of Dracula, a game of deduction and gothic horror for two to five players. Have a good Friday! Oh, so sorry about that, folks. I'll take care of that later. But anyway, well, my favorite 1v multiple characters is King of Tokyo. The reason why, in my opinion, the fact that there are so many, so many different um, characters in this game. You can choose from different characters like, say, Gigazord or Cyber Bunny. One of my favorite characters is not even part of this, this kind of starter set because you can get character packs and whatnot. And the other fun thing is, is that there's cards that add on to your, on to your abilities to help you destroy and become the king of Tokyo. This is my multi-person favorite. Thank you, and I'll take care of that issue. This. I am signing off. Hi everybody, 
I'm Hanson, and for this week's segment of board games where it's one versus many, my favorite is Doom, which is a really fun tactical game where one player is controlling hordes of demons and the other up to four players are controlling marines. The marines are trying to complete certain objectives on the board while the demons are trying to stop them from completing those objectives. It's a lot of fun. The component quality is fantastic and <laughs> sorry and the miniatures are really good especially if you have played the game of uh, the video game that is based that this is based on or anything the miniatures are very very well done I actually just started painting mine and I'm always looking for more people that will enjoy this one with me. Thanks and have a great Friday. Nice dice here and today's game is three versus one. Yes. My favorite is Boils and Badgers, an animorphic animal skirmish game. Mine is Battletech. And mine is Letters to Whitechapel. Bye! Bye. Hi everyone, I'm Nathan. I don't usually like one versus many games. But, I will make an exception for Star Wars Imperial Assault. Especially this expansion right here, the Bespin Gambit. It's awesome, because you can play in Ithorian. Ithorians are the best. I will not be the one, but I will be part of the many in Star Wars Imperial Assault. Star Wars in a Box, right here. Happy Friday, everybody. It's Frenchy. Good to see you all again. Another week has gone by, but hey, here we are. There are a lot of great one versus many games, but I'll tell you right now, there's a lot of games that aren't classified as one versus many, and the game I'm going to talk to you today, my favorite that I've played for years, happens to be one of those. It is The Great Del Moody. This one was created by Richard Garfield, although the actual game has its roots in the deck of standard playing cards. So what this does is players will sit around a table, Everyone gets the cards distributed to them, and then they go ahead and play them. First person to play their hand out becomes the Great Dalmudi. They will go ahead and sit in the Great Dalmudi chair, and then everyone else plays, and the successive people will sit in the various chairs around the table. And then the cards are gathered, and then the deal happens again, and then everybody is going to try to play and become the Great Dalmudi for the next round. It is a really great, crazy party game. Lots of fun, lots of wackiness. And again, a game that I think you'll enjoy. And yes, even though Board Game Geek doesn't say so, it's a one versus many. Happy Friday. Hello everyone, this is Ben in Ireland, coming to you with a video for Favorite Game Friday. Uh, this is the first time I'm contributing for it, because this week's topic is your favorite one versus or one versus many game. And this game also happens to be my favorite game of all time, which is... Descent 2nd Edition, and as you can see, I've got a few expansions for it, so I quite like this game. Anyway, hope you all have a great Friday. What's up, everybody? This is Eric at the Meeple's Republic, and this week on Favorite Game Friday, we're talking about all versus one games. The game that I picked is Treasure Island. In this game, one person plays Long John Silver. Good thing it's just the lid, right? One person plays as Long John Silver, and he's hidden a treasure. The rest of the players are pirates, and they're going around the board, and they're circling areas, and they're searching for the treasure. Long John Silver is giving out clues, and eventually somebody either finds a treasure and wins, or Long John Silver escapes because they're taking too long, and he tries to get to the treasure before somebody finds it, and it's a lot of fun. Um, every time I've played this game so far, I've been Long John Silver, and I always find my treasure. Always. That's my pick of the week. I'll see you guys next week. Hey, Favorite Game Friday. Jared here from the Meeple Mentor YouTube channel where we teach you how to play games. And since today we're talking about best board games of one versus many, I have two picks for you today. I know one is a really popular one. It's Fury of Dracula. I think you can go with second, third, or fourth edition with this one. It's a lot of fun. It takes a while, but one player gets to be Dracula uh, trying to wreak havoc across Europe and everyone else gets to be vampire hunters, which is really fun um, and 
I highly recommend it. The second pick I'll go with is one that you might have had to be able, uh, you might have had to have kickstarted it. It's called Batman Gotham City Chronicles. And if you're really into Batman, this is perfect. You get one player to be the villain player and they have a control board where they control all the villains. And then uh, the other players play through scenarios of uh, various uh, hero characters and work together to stop the bad guys from doing whatever mission that they're doing. So if you can get a hand your hands on it then i highly recommend it as calvin's got game here my favorite one versus all game or should i say alien versus all game is not alone by stronghold games i'm tim and i'm doug and we're from chocolate covered games this week for favorite game friday my game is scooby-doo betrayal at mystery mansion and mine is letters from my chapel hi i'm ness and today we're talking about our favorite games that are one versus many. I'm going to make a bit of a strange argument here, and I'm going to say that tabletop role-playing games that have a DM or a GM count as one versus many games. You have the GM trying to present challenges that the players overcome, and then the rest of the players trying to overcome the challenges presented by the DM. Well, the DM's objective isn't exactly to win, it is to present a good and enjoyable time for the players. And even if that isn't a structured goal so much, it is a goal nonetheless. So my favorite one of these games is what's in this big black cube, Invisible Sun, a game of surreal fantasy by Monty Cook Games. My pick this week takes place in a cheesy B-movie universe where one person plays zombies and the other people play uh, stereotypical B-movie characters, uh, just like all the movies that I love, loved my whole life. And that game is called Last Night on Earth. Ah, it's a zombie. Oh, it's Grayson. Mine is Stop Thief because you're tracking down the bad guys before they steal all the valuable artifacts. Ladies and gentlemen, may I please have your attention, please? Welcome aboard Favorite Game Friday. My favorite one versus many game is How to Rob a Bank. When my parents are sleeping, I play Letters from White Chapel with my girlfriend. Hey there, and happy Favorite Game Friday. We are LDG, Long Distance Gamers, a group of friends who live in different states and play remotely pretty much every day. I'm Brooks. I'm Kitty. And I'm Lizzie. And so to start off, my very favorite is Letters from Whitechapel. It was the first hidden movement game that you guys introduced me to, so it's a bit nostalgic for me. I just feel like it's tense and memorable every single time. I'm also a sucker for everything historical. So I feel like it's a little bit more accessible than another fave, Fury of Dracula. Also, I really love the expansion and all of the different variants you can have. And we have played it so much that literally my box is falling <laughs> apart. It's pretty much your only request. Right, it <laughs> is at any time. Speaking of Carnage, my pick is actually Last Friday. Another great one. I'm a huge horror movie junkie, as you can tell. From around us, if you could see the rest of my room, you'd see a whole lot more. <laughs> I like that it has the unique kind of campaign style to it. It has four stories, so it can it feels fresh each time you play it, and you can really mix it up. I like how there's aspects of the gameplay that feel a little different from some of the other ones that are mentioned. For instance, different players can access different cabins. Other players have to run around and collect keys. If someone happens to die on the path, that path is inaccessible unless you do some special actions to clear it. So I think it feels really fresh and fits into that theme that I'm kind of addicted to. And then mine is Spectre Ops. I like it because it has simple rules, which makes it so that it can get to the table easier. And then it has intense combat. You're going to that door and oh my goodness, am I gonna make it? Probably not. <laughs> yeah, probably not. And then it also is a super easy transition to remote play. Yeah, you were able to actually send us the files for the, the, agent, the shields. agent shields. Yeah, and it was almost like we had the copy ourselves. Happy Friday, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, and be you. Hmm. Have you been discarding all your Merlins? Look at all of Sorty McSwordface's life points. Are you going to take care of any catapults? 
This guy's not talking. Traitor! Traitor! Our pick for favorite one versus many game is Shadows over Camelot. Our favorite one versus many game is... Scotland Yard. How did you get there? <laughs> Our favorite one versus many games are... Ice Cool and Scotland Yard. All right, Simon, we've been looking for you for over an hour, trying to find you for Favorite Game Friday, so you can tell us what your favorite all versus one game is, and I'm pretty sure I found your hiding spot. It was good, but it... it, it uh, that's not Simon. Hey, Dad! What? I think I've decided to choose Specter Ox. Simon, out. <sighs> Hey, favorite game Friday, folks. This is Tristan from the channel Twister Strudel. And as far as one versus many games, I don't think I've played a whole lot. I've searched on Board Game Geek, and the one that came up that I've played is Spyfall. So I guess that. Uh, but regardless, the one that I'm looking forward to, I'm looking forward to picking up the app implementation of Fury of Dracula. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. My favorite one versus many game is Treasure Island. In it, one player takes on the role of Long John Silver, who has hidden a treasure somewhere on the island. The other pirates use deduction and ask questions, drawing on the board to figure out where the treasure is. Hi everyone, my favorite one versus many game is Fury of Dracula. In this game, one player takes the role as Dracula, while the other players play as the hunters. But give the right player the role of Dracula, and the hunters might become hunted. Happy Friday, everyone. It's always interesting to see the wide variety of one versus many games. And it's always interesting to play the different sides of these games. It feels very different if you're playing the one player trying to fight off the other players or cultivate the experience that the other players are having. And then it's completely different to be the, the heroes that are probably much weaker and trying to build up to be able to take out those people. It depends on the game you're playing, but one versus many games are great. Make sure to leave in the comments down below what your favorite one versus many game is. And make sure to check out our contributors from all around the internet. We have so many amazing people that join in on Favorite Game Friday. Make sure to check out their stuff. But also, if you want to join in on Favorite Game Friday, you can send us a short video clip in the Google Drive link down below. and you can be a part of Favorite Game Friday. Next week we're going to be talking about games that allow you to build things. Maybe it's build a city or maybe build a cool like engine or tableau. Something that lets you build stuff up um, as you play the game. So building is the theme for next week and we'll see you on the next Favorite Game Friday.